Hi, I'm Bill McLeese with Garage Gurus, and in today's tech tip, I want to go over the final steps and procedures that you need to be performing after doing any kind of service work on an automatic transmission. Today, we happen to have a 2019 Dodge Grand Caravan that a customer brought into us for some service work that we've already completed. However, we want to make sure that when we send this back to them, that it's actually going to drive like a new vehicle or the way it came in, or at least better than the way it came in. So, we're going to use a scan tool to look at some basic settings and make sure that we recalibrate it so that it actually does drive like it should when it goes back to the customer. So let's go ahead into the vehicle, use a scan tool, and we'll walk you through the procedures on a relearn for this transmission. Okay, so now we're in the vehicle. I've got the scan tool plugged in and hooked up. We're gonna be using the Snap-on Zeus for this today. And I've already loaded the vehicle, so we've already got that in here as a 2019 Dodge Grand Caravan. And what I wanna go into is the transmission settings here. So we're gonna load up the transmission. And we wanna go into um, system tests on this. Even though they offer functional tests, this is actually found under system test. And what I'm looking for is that very first one, which is a quick learn. So on this vehicle, we actually did a regular maintenance. It's got about 61,000 miles on the odometer on this, and the customer wanted to have a transmission fluid service and a filter service done on it. So I wanna make sure that when it's done, um, we send this back to the customer, that it's definitely gonna shift like it was when it was brand new or as close to factory as possible. You can do that by verifying everything and rerunning a quick learn procedure like we're gonna do here. So I'm gonna click on quick learn, and basically all I need to do is follow the steps on the screen. So starts us right off telling us it's gonna initiate the quick learn procedure. Um, it tells us what the parameters are that need to be met. So we have to start the engine. So let's go ahead and get it started up. Okay. And then the brake pedal must be depressed and the parking brake has to be set throughout the entire procedure. So I'm going to set the parking brake. And then also we want to make sure that there's no fault codes in the transmission or engine on this vehicle before running this procedure. We already know there's no fault codes, so I'm going to go ahead and continue now that all the other parameters have been met. And then following the prompts, next thing I need to do, take my shift lever, move it to drive. And then it moves automatically to the next one, which is put it in neutral. So we'll put it in neutral. And then the scan tool pretty much takes it from here, does what it needs to do. I have to make sure it's reminding me not to release the brake pedal while I'm doing this procedure. It keeps telling me that the test is still in progress, but I need to shift it to drive now. So I'm gonna put it in drive. And again, they don't want you to release the brake pressure because the vehicle will jerk as it's running through the clutches and the relearn procedure in this transmission. And then afterwards, it says it's all completed now, shift to park, and the test is completed. All right, now that the test is complete, the last thing I need to do is take the vehicle out and drive it, just to verify all the repairs are complete and that the vehicle shifts correctly before I return it back to the customer. My name is Bill McLeese with the Garage Gurus. Thank you for watching. For more information and tech tips like this, check us out at garagegurus.tech.